the War of the Worlds, the original War of the Worlds. Now, when this came out, right, in um, 1952, they had, um, uh, before the movie came out, they had a radio announcement, and H.G. Wells uh, um, wrote um, War of the Worlds. And you've probably seen, um, I actually thought it was Day of the World, um, the, when I was thinking about this beforehand, I was thinking like the day the Earth stood still, but that's not it. So the War of the Worlds, as you know, uh, was remade recently, uh, probably a decade ago, with, um, and it didn't do really well uh, with um, Tom Cruise. I actually liked it. I thought it was okay. And, uh, excuse me, I think I got something in my eye. Right, so War of the Worlds, right? Um, when they did the 1952, um, sorry, I think it might be 1951, um, reading they did a radio show they did a uh, adaptation of the book as a radio thing and everybody thought in america because it was in those days that it'd be live right it, and um, they thought it was a news announcement because it starts out being a news announcement you know and um the, you know the story and so everybody in america was freaking out locking the doors hiding getting their guns out and all that because they thought they were being invaded by aliens, because that's, you know, that's the, the setting of this. So it was such a huge deal uh, when the radio um, broadcast went out. And, and they, you know, like I said, they used to do live. They used to like make all the sounds. They'd have like um, uh, ADR and you have all the sound men sort of side making all the clop, clop, clop sounds of horses and so on and bzz and all that, you know. Um, and you have the radio announcer, you have the actors going, oh, it's everyone freaking out. It's, there's all these other ships arriving. There's, we don't know what they are. And, um, and so I just realized, if you haven't seen this, you probably already have seen this, but you know what the ending of this is all about. So I'm not going to go there. Right, so let me read, um, read the blurb on this. So this is a 1952 movie. And um, so H.G. Wells' chilling novel of a Martian invasion of Earth becomes even more frightening in this 1952 film adaptation that's widely regarded as one of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time. An Oscar winner for special, uh, best special effects, The War of the Worlds delivers eye-popping thrills, laser-hot action, and unrelenting edge-of-your-seat suspense. No one who has seen the movies, um, seen the film's depiction of the swan-shaped uh, Martian machines ticking and hissing menacingly as they cut their path of destruction will ever forget the ominous impact so you know the original war of the worlds like i said had a huge impact on um on on the, uh on the I, i'm not sure if it was broadcast across the world on the radio as well but in america especially because this is just six years after world war ii Right, they'd just gone through the Great Dep Depression. They had just been, um, you know, a lot of people died, millions and millions of people died. Uh, families had a lot of loved ones, um, and you know, so on. Great Depression, I think that was after the uh, Wall Street collapse, people had committed suicide, and so on. So, when this came, you know, when they announced this, imagine in the middle you know just a couple not even a decade out from that a couple years out of that and you're just freaking out because of what you're hearing you're thinking it's live because like i said radio plays were done live so the adaptation live nobody's saying hold on guys the what's about to happen is a drama adapt adaptation of this book by hg wells one of the greatest greatest uh sci-fi writers of all time right and uh, of course, you've seen so many of his movies, The Time Machine, and you know that's re was recently remade about a decade or so ago, uh, starring a um, Aussie actor, um, and I can't remember his name off the top of my head. And so, yeah, that's War of the Worlds, and it's like I said, if you need anything else to watch right now, get some classics in you, and then once you've read, uh, watch the classics, or even read the book jump on and do, uh, watch the new one with Tom Cruise in it, recent one I should say.